Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Kurana, your host on Car Blog India, and we are back with another test drive review for you. In this video, we'll give you a comprehensive test drive review of the new Hyundai Santa Fe. We take this car off the road, we take this car on road, we show you the interiors, exteriors, talk about the handling, drive, comfort, and features that the new Santa Fe has to offer. Let's get started. Let us start with the exteriors first, then we'll take you inside the car and then we'll talk about the driving dynamics, etc. Outside the car, the Hyundai Santa Fe is simply a looker. It follows the design language, the fluidic design language of Hyundai, which we see on other cars like Elantra, etc. It has a large chrome finished hexagonal grille at front, some air dams. The front has been finished very nicely. The headlamp cluster gets high intensity discharge or HID projector headlamps which comes with washer. The fog lamps here are worth mentioning, they come with cornering function. So when you are steering to left or right in, on a dark road, it will turn the light in the same direction. Under the body, you can see the skid guards. These silver colored skid guards are meant to protect the car from hitting the stones. Moving to the side profile of the car, you get pronounced wheel arches and there is a side body cladding running all around the car, this black cladding runs at the bottom and there are two body lines running on the side. There are outside rear view mirrors with turn indicators. These mirrors are internally adjustable electrically as well as electrically foldable. There is chrome lining around the windows on the side which makes it look premium. Moving slightly towards the rear you get a tail lamp sweeping to the side taking you towards the rear of the car. The car does not look any less attractive from rear. The tail lamp design is simply beautiful and car looks good with a spoiler with high mounted LED stock lamps. There is a body hugging roof rail running on each side of the car and gives it the much required sporty look. On the bumper you notice another skid guard. You also get washers, wipers and defogger on the rear windshield. All in all the exteriors are very attractive as well as very aggressive in looks and give good road presence when you drive a Hyundai Santa Fe. Let me take you inside the car. The front driver side door gets control for the power windows outside rear view mirror controls and there is a button to open or close the outside rear view mirrors which are electrically foldable. Moving inside the car you get some beam controls. On the steering wheel you get multiple kind of controls so you can control your audio system using the set of buttons provided on the left hand side. On right hand side you get some additional infotainment controls, you get phone controls and there is also a driver information control with, which is within the instrument cluster. There is one very interesting button on the steering wheel which is the flex steering control. What flex steering means is that you can press this button and change the steering behavior. When you put it in comfort mode, it becomes very light for city driving. When you put it in normal mode, it becomes moderate. And when you put it in sports mode, it becomes really heavy. You want your steering to feel heavy and give you more road feedback. You can put it in sport mode for enthusiastic driving. The dashboard design is fairly attractive with high quality of materials used, dual tone colors. The central infotainment system gets a touch screen capability. There is dual zone automatic climate control system. There are large AC vents on both sides and there are AC vents on the middle as well as rear seat. Yes, it gets three rows of seats. The front row of seats get electrically adjustable seats which can be adjusted in 12 ways. So you can adjust the height, the under thigh support, recline, lumbar support, etc. Taking you to the middle row, it feels really comfortable to sit in the middle row. With the front seat to its back, at maximum there is still plenty of room in the middle seat. There is a foldable armrest with retractable cup holders. There are seat pockets behind the front seats for the middle row and there is a power socket at the rear seat. There are air conditioning vents provided on the B pillar for the comfort of passengers sitting in the middle row. The middle row of seat gets three split mechanism. So it is 40, 20, 40 split. You can recline the seats depending on your luggage needs to make some more space. The third row of seat is flat folding and you fold them if you are not carrying more than 5 passengers in the car and it will free up a lot of luggage space where you can put at least 5 to 6 big bags for your airport commute or out of city commute. Even the third row of seats gets its own air conditioning vents as well as power outlet for charging laptops, accessories etc. Talking a bit more about interiors and features, there is perforated leather for superior comfort 
for all the occupants in the car the air conditioning is very effective there are manually controlled curtains on the middle row of seats so if you are out on a hot summer day you can use these curtains and stay away from the sunlight you can use the cool glove box which is provided at the front to cool your beverages while you are on the go it comes loaded with features and it has oodles of space on the inside also one of the very major features of this car is the safety it provides it comes with electronic stability control anti lock braking system six airbags so it is loaded with safety active and passive safety systems is made up with high strength steel so it offers you a safe commuting when you are using the Santa Fe 2014 new model now let's talk about engine performance fuel economy and handling of this car Talking about the engine, it gets a 2.2 liter CRDI unit and comes with a peak power of around 200 PS, 197 PS to be precise. And the torque is something which is mind boggling. The torque on the manual transmission version is around 420 Newton meters, and on the automatic version, it is around 445 Newton meters. It is a lot of torque for a car of this size, and it reflects in the performance. When you press hard on the throttle, it gives you a very good punch and the gear shift is also very smooth and very well. It pulls the car like anything. It is a 6-speed manual transmission or a 6-speed automatic transmission option that you can get on the Hyundai Santa Fe. The top end automatic version comes with a 4-wheel drive system which is an intelligent electronically controlled 4-wheel drive which senses the traction on the wheels and uses the 4-wheel system on need basis. If you want to go on off-roading, there is a switch provided which can make it permanently four-wheel drive, but that will compromise a bit on the mileage part. Hyundai claims that the automatic variant gets a mileage of around 13 km per litre as tested by ARAI and in our test, we drove the car pretty hard and we did some enthusiastic runs on the car. We still managed to get a mileage of around 10 km per litre on the automatic variant, which is not less than impressive. Talking about ride comfort and handling of the car, the car is fairly comfortable on tarmac roads but when you go on bad roads you feel some jerks inside the cabin and this is because the suspension has been not very soft and it gives a very good control as well as handling precision to the Hyundai Santa Fe. This flex steering system which lets you decide your steering weight is also very handy when you want to drive it enthusiastically. You can take it on rough terrains, bad roads, you can take it through some shallow water, rocks etc and it goes seamlessly without any troubles. So in terms of ride and handling, we give it a thumbs up because it is a well balanced suspension which is not too soft and not too hard. Summarizing our review, if you are looking for a spacious and powerful SUV in the price segment of 30 to 40 lakh rupees, you must consider the 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe. Do take a test drive and check it for yourself. This brings us to the end of the exciting drive we had with the Hyundai Santa Fe. We hope you like this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below for more such videos. Stay subscribed by pressing the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.